Thanks so much for purchasing my Scrabble tile kit. Let's get started making it. This is a really simple project. You need your wood block, you need your transfer that has a glossy plastic front and a paper back, you also need any credit card that has a little bit of flex to it like this, and a lens cleaning cloth. Let's just take a quick look at the block. It has a nice smooth front and also a smooth back with a sticker on it. The transfer is going to go on the front from left to right and you'll see the end greens on the left and right sides. So let's get started. First take the cloth and give the wood a little bit of a wipe to make sure that there's no dust anywhere on it. Next, with your transfer on a flat surface like a table, lift a corner of the transfer tape and pull it away from the paper, making sure that the vinyl comes with it like this. Just the corner of the vinyl is good. Okay, now that you have an edge up, flip it back over, grab that edge with your finger, and carefully peel the paper back. Don't touch the black vinyl with your fingers if you can avoid it. Just pull this back at a nice steep angle that's almost flat with your surface. And if by any chance any of the black vinyl sticks to the paper, just put the paper back down and give it a good rub and then pull it off. Make sure you go slow as well near the number. Okay, so you could just pick up your transfer now and apply it to your Scrabble block, but I'm going to show you a trick. Let's take the shiny side of the paper and put shiny side down uh, over top of the transfer, showing just the top part of that little square. Flip it over, make sure it's all smooth into the paper, and uh, bring it over to the block. Without pushing it down, make sure that you have the same amount of visible space on the sides and the top of the square. When you're happy with the position, use your finger to push the vinyl into the wood, making sure that you don't have any bubbles there. Now flip it over and remove the paper again. Take your card and with firm pressure, smooth the whole Scrabble letter onto the piece of wood. Make sure that you go around the edges and get all the edges done and then go back over the middle again, making sure to remove any bubbles that you see by pushing them out with the card. So in this corner, I have a little bubble. I'm going to use the edge of the card to push that out slowly and just get it so that it's nice and smooth and flat. Okay, so lastly, let's add a cloth over the card and give everything another firm wipe just to make sure that it's really squished tight against the cloth and there are no bubbles there anywhere at all. So you'll notice there's a little bubble here that I was trying to work out. It's not actually in the vinyl. It turns out it's in the transfer sheet, between the transfer sheet and the vinyl. So when you remove the transfer sheet, it will go away. And then the same for that little line that you can see across right here. That's just in the transfer and nothing to worry about. Okay, now for the reveal. Find a corner of the transfer tape and pull it up. You want to keep the transfer tape really smooth against the wood like you did when you took the paper off and just keep peeling it back slowly. If there's an area that stays stuck to the transfer tape, just push it back down and smooth it out with your fingernail or with your card and then pull again. If you find that you're still having trouble, then try pulling the transfer tape at a different angle. That can really help. Congratulations, your tile is done. Well, that is if you want to keep this black square. Uh, it's really easy to remove. Just pick at the edge and pull it off if you don't want it there. It's only there to help you center everything and uh, it's easy to remove as long as you do it in the first 24 hours. Okay, let's take a look at the final product. Here it is. You can see that you can't even really tell that this is a decal. It just almost looks like paint. It's really thin and uh, doesn't really have any edges. It looks great. Thanks so much for making this project with me and for purchasing from Notable Bee. If you get a chance, please tag me on social media. I'd love to see how you use your new Scrabble tile. Have a great day.